Alright. Last night it was getting darker when we got to camp. We all got to camp. We set up. All of us were on rocks and roots and slopes. Then we started exploring more. <laughs> and look. Beautiful campsite. So now we're going to explore better before we set up camp. It's a cool little area though. Nice little stream. You can jump in there and swim if you want to. It's hot. Good morning. Saturday, June 18th. Um, we did not make it to Spy Rock yesterday. <laughs> um, the storm that wasn't supposed to happen because there was a 0% chance of rain yesterday. Um, was pretty gnarly. Luckily, um, Yartel just happened to look at the radar and he was like, uh, we need to get down this mountain as far as we can and set up some tents. So we did. We got them set up in time and whew, the wind with that storm and there was like thundering and lightning over us. Um, it was like blowing in Yartel's tent. So we all got in Yartel's tent. We set up Fib's tent, got in and put all of our gear in that one. Um, she got a tree branch through her fly. So she has a huge hole in her fly now. Um, yeah. So we were stuck there for like two hours. We got to play some cards. And then we, um, well, they took a nap. <laughs> So then it was getting close to dark, so we went like another like 3.4, 3.6 miles and set up at a tent site. So I think we didn't get done eating until like 9.30 last night. Um, that's all right though. So plan a 16 today to a shelter, then an easy day into Devil's Backbone. Um, We'll have to try to figure out a food situation for them because they're kind of being out here longer than they had planned for food. But I have a ton of food. So hopefully we're going to look at that at dinner tonight, see what we need to do so we can make it to Waynesboro without having to get them more food. So, uh, also fun fact, um, so I went to REI. I was in Austin to get my shoes and we tried them on and they were a little bit big but very different style of shoes well I realized yesterday it's a men's 10 um I don't know yard sale when I stand up yard sale's like oh, I mean you can maybe go like down a half size if you needed to but I'm gonna keep seeing how these feel I might have to go into small shoes Mill these home, take these back to REI eventually. But they feel okay. But like yesterday, my right foot, which has not ever been a problem, started feeling like I was getting some like plantar fasciitis. Maybe I just need to wear two different shoes. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's the update on the shoes. Other than that, body sore but nothing out of the ordinary um yep I think that's all I got so we got some good views today hopefully I think only like 2,000 feet of elevation for like the first part of our trial and then at the end of the day we have a big climb up to the shelter but it'll knock off a third of the climb for tomorrow's climb and just to remind you folks, Virginia is not flat. So I don't know who put that out there in the universe, but it's not flat. Um, but we do get some breaks coming up. Um, I think the next two maps, it will be a lot flatter. And we'll get to crank out bigger miles. Um, so that's, that's good. Okay, for all that you know. All right, this is Porter Gap. I'm only walking back because I left my trekking bowls. Um, 
but this is a great area with lots of flat campsites and then you've got a spring just right down the hill right there it's a really good water source priest wilderness the um, priest shelters up ahead where you <laughs> confess your trail sins I'm still trying to decide what to confess but yeah it's kind of fun so I'm excited to read other people's sins <laughs> so I just left the priest shelter and uh, I didn't leave a confession because I couldn't think of anything that wasn't poop, pee, or bear bag related. And that's what everybody's confessions are. And I didn't wanna, I don't know. I wanted something original. I couldn't think of anything. So my confession is, I didn't leave a confession. Um, but it was pretty entertaining to read everybody's confessions. And basically, we all have the same woes out here. Uh, we all have a poop story. We all have a pee story. And we all have a bear bag story, it sounds like. Um, but, you know, I'll tell you all my confession if something arises later on in trail that is worth sharing. But we've got 7.6 miles left. Um, really steep down for a couple of miles and then like a thousand foot climb. So, and it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. So, another late night, but it's all right. Um, that's about it. I just want to have this on video if the bees decide to attack all of us. I love these bridges though. our feet down there guys mm -hmm. oh look yes perfect to the left whoop, whoop. oh <laughs> <laughs> all right well we had plans for 16 miles today but we're stopping at 13 because we found these really sweet spots by the river all of our feet hurt so we're excited about getting to soak in the river while we eat dinner. So yeah. Home sweet home for the night. And there's some weekend campers that were running to the store to get us snacks and beer. 